There we go. Hey guys, oh, <laughs> perfect. Hey guys, welcome to my first ever art vlog. Today what we are gonna be talking about is how to paint a Disney character known as Mulan. Mulan, this is Mulan. Isn't she beautiful? So what I thought I would first do is pick out her wardrobe. For her outfit, I chose a red shirt. As you can see, a lot of times what I do is I take a shirt that I already have with a logo on the back, flip it around, and I just use the other side of the color so that I don't have to pay a lot of money. And the background story for Mulan is the fact that uh, she's a woman and her father is about to go to war again and he's kind of already injured and limping. So she decides that she's going to replace that need by going into war and pretend to be a guy so that she can save her father. And so we have this. This is a beautiful little, it's like a vest looking thing and it's made of silk. And what I thought would be kind of cool is women back then were beautiful things. They're very precious and delicate so you have the flowers. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to use this dress even though it's not a cape. Mulan could wear this and it could be like flowing in the wind. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna start painting my face. Any Disney princess art, I like to paint my face so that it adds more to it. And I like to save money because why not? Just paint your face, find an outfit in your closet, boom. So what we're gonna use is these aqua colors. I have white, I have pink, purple, you know. We have some liquids. This helps to make the color definitely stand out more. I have some paint brushes to help out with the nice small detail. These sponges, I have several to help with like, you know, the big detail. First, what we're gonna do is in the movie, Mulan depicts herself um, in two different ways. The first way is she's the very like proper princess trying to get the guy. The other way is the warrior side of her that's trying to save her father. Let's go. And then I thought, so I got a mirror. This helps me um, kind of pick and see where I want the line to go. And the best part about this makeup, you can ingest it. It's not like food. <laughs> so it is safe to eat. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. So now what we're gonna do, now that we have that, in the movie uh, Mulan has some makeup on, so we're gonna add some of that into here. She has red lips and like a purple kind of eyeshadow. So we're gonna do that, because we have purple, and then we also have red. <laughs> it fell right out. This one's red and pink. So I'm gonna start doing that now, so you can watch. Go ahead and watch, okay? So, um, I'm adding some white to dim down the color of it. So it's like her blushing, you know? I have some purple now. Men back then must have really liked when they looked pale in that. So I'm gonna bring it up to my brow bone. I don't know if you can see that very well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some black to my purple. There's a cute little paintbrush in here. So what I do is I'm gonna add some black to this. 
top of the palette. A different sponge, because the one I had was a different one. And then I mix it like so. And now when I apply it, it's going to be a darker purple. It will come out more. Now you can see it a little better. See, I have a lot of different kinds of paintbrushes. This brush will do the best. It has like a square kind of look to it, so I can make it nice and sharp. So I got my black paint pink color. And then I just paint a little bit of this on here. use this because the black looks better when you have a little bit of liquid paint on it. And I use my fist to paint on top of the brown so that that guy can be attracted to me because I know how to paint my brow. Now that guy is really going to be attracted to me. Got that really cute look on him. Now what we're going to do is the lip gloss. I can find it. I want lip gloss. <laughs> the thing about Mulan is she is super beautiful. She does not need all this makeup on. This side of Mulan is the beauty side. When she's trying to impress the leaders, she's very controlled and she knows what she's doing. So that's what this side is. Now we are gonna go ahead and do the other side. This side and this side. We're gonna add Mushu on this side. Mushu is her guardian dragon that watches after her. Um, he is always there for her hard times, you know, tells her how to think straight, you know, and how to be a man. And so, um, I'm gonna draw him more of a tribal kind of look, cause this side, this side of the face is supposed to be like hardcore, you know. So I'm gonna have my hair back like this, but this side is gonna be down. So the mushu is gonna go up and around my eye. So I'm gonna, gonna move my hair back. I did some practice on my arm to help me look at it while I'm videoing. I'll have like a certain idea with like the camera and stuff, so I put it on the hand that I'm looking at. So when I'm like over here looking into the mirror, I have my, what I want on my face, on my hand. Painting it that on here. So I'm going to be using black primarily on this face because it's a warrior, a warrior side. And I got a thin brush as you can tell right here. I got a really thin brush to help out with the thin things. I have this one and then I also have this one to help out
Now that we got a little bit of this, he's um holding me here and here. Those are his hands. I'm gonna finish it off. He's gonna swirl around until you see his tail. So yeah, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and paint that. Let me add some more black liquid. to help me plan it out, so I'm going to be doing that method again. I'll try my hardest to let you guys see what I'm doing. So there you guys go, we got Mushu and we got Mulan. I messed up like two times, if you're wondering what that blanket was in the video, that was me trying to fix my errors. <laughs> but we have Mushu right here. Okay, so I concluded that I'm gonna put flowers on now. I really want to do some pink flowers. So we are going to add some pink flowers to my face. Here's one flower, and what I thought, I would add some dark pink for the next petal. I do this sometimes just to add some contrast so you can tell which petals are which. We're gonna have a little bit here.
when a flower, uh, like, you know how a flower is kind of like a bowl? So, like, this would be inside of the flower and then the flower blooms out? So, when things are further away, that means they hit further away, that means there's darkness in the middle. So, I like to flake out some darkness over here just to add, like, that feel of that darkness coming out. We're gonna have black dots in the middle because you know when bees go from flower to flower to get nectar? There's these little tiny little things inside them that look kind of like bobby, uh, looks like a pin but with a ball on top so we're gonna add uh, little tiny dots after we trace it. So. What I like to do is I like to grab the brush and flick. I have the white liquid here, so what I do is I just put my paintbrush into the liquid like this. I put a little bit on it, and then I just dot it on. See? I have a leaf here. It's just a little bit of a leaf, you know, just chilling in here. And it, there's the end of the leaf. So I like to try and get my leaves as pointy as I can. Sometimes it's hard, but you get there. And then what I like to do a lot is I like to add yellow as the highlight to my leaf. And then I just keep bringing it down until it blends into the green. And then I put that a little bit more green back on to blend that color back in. The leaf. It ran out of black as you can tell, so let's get some more. Let me just Let me get more black on here. And then just press and flick. Press and flick. Now a leaf has also a little line right here. And then what I sometimes like to do. See this is the fun part about face painting is your little baby hairs get in the way. So what I like to do a lot with leaves is there's veins inside of leaves and that allows the water to travel through the leaves to feed, feed the leaf so it can grow. So I like to just lightly flick it. Lightly flick it. We're gonna brush out our hair, so let me get my hair brush quick. So we need to half it. We need to bring the hair in half because when she's being prim and proper, I picture her hair down, even though in the movie she sometimes puts it up for a beauty thing, you know, because she puts it up in a bun. I think I'm gonna drop it down so you can see more of the difference between this is a lady and this is a man. We're going to brush out the hair like that. I know I don't have the same color hair as her, but I just have to get the gist of it. So I am a guy on this side, pretending to be a guy. So whatever look you want for your Milan, here's one. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna try on the outfit. So what I thought about with this 
I would put it on around me. And now you have Mulan. So yeah, if you guys want to see the results of what I do after this, I'm going to be making some videos on my social media, which can be found in any of these. And my name is this on pretty much everything. If you really want to just be a part of that experience, just go ahead and um, subscribe to me. Please subscribe, that'd be awesome. I'll be posting more of these if you have any ideas of any other Disney characters that you want to do, any other people, or maybe ideas of maybe cartoons that you enjoy and stuff. Just please put the link down in the description below. If you copy this look or um, recreate this look, share it with me. Lastly guys, remember this. You have to first choose to live in order to have faith. So make sure when you are feeling down to do something creative that inspires you. Because one day, when you look back at your life, you're going to be happy that you chose to do something you love.